morning everybody. Please watch the previous video if you want an introduction to this video. Yesterday I came across on the website matzov.com a posting that uh, someone who I met once and I sometimes interact with on Facebook although not in such a I don't feel like it is in the car of me in any way. Um, is Rabbi Yisusker Katz, an interesting character. He was known as an Eloi. He learned in, in Sapper Yeshivas, and then he learned in Brisk, and, uh, and then eventually he went to college and became more or less modern Orthodox, but he still keeps the beard and payas just in case he goes to visit his family in Borough Park, maybe even puts on the strimal when he, when he goes there. Um, and an uh, interesting character, um, who I enjoy reading, even if I don't agree with all of, a lot of his things, although I do agree with certain things he has to say personally. I'll be honest, but uh, mostly what I disagree with him on the Zionism and, all, and, and certain more left-wing issues, some of his approaches to egalitarian issues, even though I am supportive of a certain level of egalitarianism in a certain form, it takes a different form than his, which is fine, that's America a free country, we have different views. Uh, the form that I have is a much more traditional egalitarianism, and it's much more traditional in many ways. Um, that being said, I, um, Rabbi Katz posted something about a Nittelnach, which for him, most likely, growing up was not Nittelnacht. Uh, we don't need to discuss that. We discussed that in the previous video. But he said the following. He said, instead of wasting time watching a silly movie, which is what I did, um, why don't we get into some kind of intellectual discussion? And the intellectual discussion he wanted to get into was about Jesus. And he said that, yeah, he learned it brisk. Brisker terror focuses on dichotomy, svedinim. Uh, and so he says there's svedinim in the Jesus. There's the, the, the Jesus, the mythological Jesus of Christianity and the historical Jesus, whose name was Yeshua, is what he says. And then he goes on to this, uh, he, people say it's heresy, and then they, uh, you know, back and forth. And then he said, you know, maybe we need that historical Jesus who was battling the powers that be, or whatever nonsense he was saying there. Uh, the answer that I have to him, I'm almost to work, so I don't really have time to go into this much more, but this is what I have to say. To use the term historical, history means recorded history. That's why <coughs> we speak per... Uh, for example, of prehistory, because we don't have records of prehistory. We only uh, history is recorded history, and so unless you consider myth to be a source for history, we have no history of Jesus. There is no historical Jesus. You have to understand that history is also a form of myth because the you know the winners take the spoils, and so. And myth is, as we said in the Jungian sense, a an informer of truth. You know, we, we spoke before of the mythos and the logos, and obviously logos takes on a different form in Christian theology in the, in the first chapter of the Gospel according to John. But we, we have no in the Jungian sense, logos about Jesus. We only really have a mythos about Jesus that we can perhaps attempt to glean some logos. But we don't really have anything concrete. I mean, the fascinating thing was after that, I mean, I was sitting with my Talisman Philon on yesterday reading this, not my Talisman Philon, the, the the Talos and that belonged to work. Talos, I, I guess, is mine. I bought it. But 
fill in below the work. But I, I, what I usually do is I put on my towels and fill in. But uh, you know, this time of year, it's before Nates, and I know a lot of the post can hold it. It's been Yevon to daven before Nates, unless you do have no choice and I'm able to daven at work. Um, and there is fill in there, and there's a talus there, and so that's what I do once I get to work this time of year. If I'm working in a, a regular shift, I, I, I daven. But yesterday I was busy with other work, which I shouldn't have been doing. I remember with, with Talos Tool, and I, I just happened to just for a second glance at, at matsif.com. And, um, and, that, that's what, and, and the interesting thing is then one of the people who I supervise, who's an Orthodox Christian priest, came to speak to me and so we and we had a theological conversation on similar issues and one thing he brought up is what well Josephus mentions Jesus so um, you know I said to, to, to the priest I said well Josephus to us was a renegade he's not a he's not something someone who we really see as valuable but what I didn't say to him is that most likely that was something that was either totally fabricated by the church or there are theories which are interesting for example like it says there if you can call him a man in the in the Josephus account of Jesus obviously the church would in, in, understand that to be a, a compliment and I've seen Islamic versions of Arabic versions of Josephus that understand that to be an insult. It's nishkaven kan mensch, you know. So, um, I remember talking about this in high school already, you know. This is already baby stuff for me. There is no historical Jesus. There is the, the best we could talk about is a theoretical Jesus, and, and it most likely was not called Yeshua. That's just the name that the that the Messianic Jews made up. There was, there, you know, if anything, the Aramaic nickname Yeshu or simply the Hebrew Yehoshua. Uh, although Yeshua is a Hebrew name as well that we do find in Scripture. So that might have been more common at that time. But um, So that's my answer. There is no historical Jesus. There is only the mythical Jesus or the theoretical Jesus. And if you want to talk about something like this, let's talk about building bridges between us and and. Christians for things that we have in common, like we've been talking about the uh, the uh, attacks on religious freedom, and we should be supporting them just like they should be supporting us. The attacks on the yeshivas are not that different than forcing someone to bake a cake that, that that's against their religion, and this is what we have to unite on and talk about, and not about trying to incorporate someone who we don't even know actually existed or not into our mindset, that's not a Jewish thing. Uh, we can talk about what Rabbi Yaakov Emden talked about, and I did mention it there, but uh, now's not the time and the place. I'm late for work already. God bless. Please like, share, and subscribe. Comment all